Oh, I got so caught this morning. So Ram Dass talks about getting caught as when we get caught in our smallness, in our in the pettiness and in clinging to some expectation or preference, and then not being able to be present and back in just like <laughs> gratitude and love of what is here. And so now being able to recognize when I do get caught, it's easier to kind of laugh at it and, and let it go. But this morning, so I lead Wim Hof on Friday mornings and I was up at like 4.30 and I'm in the process of detoxing from coffee, which is never fun, but it's been helping my sleep so much. So I detox by like, my first step is just stepping down to like half calf and now I'm on like mushroom coffee. That's not as many milligrams of caffeine. So I ran out last night. So I Instacarted, <laughs> I Instacarted for Sigmatic, uh, the mushroom coffee to arrive at my door in this morning. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'll be perfect. So then I wake up this morning and I go to my door and they delivered it, but it was like not even close to what, like the mushroom coffee. It was like these K pods that are just like, they just weren't in alignment with the goal that I set. And so then I was just, you know, instantly just frustrated, angry that like they'd give me such a swap that was not at all remote. Like just, it wasn't near what I wanted. And it, I mean, even as I speak it, it just sounds so petty. Like, so like, are you serious? Gonna get upset about this? But it was my non-caffeinated 4.30 a.m. brain and just could see the cling. And then I was just like, how is this for like the high, how is this for the highest good? Like, can you sit in this? And I almost made a regular coffee, but I stuck to my goals. I'm super proud of that. And I just didn't have coffee and I was fine. Ended up, I was to ask myself, I was like, okay, well, how is this, what is good in this? And it was just like, A, it could be the teaching for Wim Hof. Um, it, I, it was, and I ended up doing something else. But um, every, I always pray the morning of like, God, please speak through me. What do you want me to talk about today? So I was like, okay, maybe I'll speak about this. at <laughs> Wim Hof, this will be this like the little sermon. Um, or... And then I was just like, maybe, you know, I'm supposed to, I ended up going running to get energy. Um, so that was awesome. And I felt great after doing that. And that, so that inspired me to do that. Um, I almost even, y'all, this is like where the getting caught. So then I could like relax about it. I'm like, you'll be fine. You don't need it. But then I'd be like this re-clinging to it. Or I'd see like the K-pods on the counter and just be like, oh, why do they have it? Like, it would just like keep clinging. And that's what our mind does. It's like, oh yeah, we'll be free. And then it'll just latch onto something else. Let me create a drama. And it's like, am I going to feed the drama? Or can I release it? Oh, here it is again. <sighs> soften, 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 soften breath. But it, it's like, and this is the addiction, like the addiction to the caffeine. It, my mind was like, well, I could go, you know, I don't have to be a Mueller till 6.30. I could go to the HEB, it opens at six. Like maybe I'll go run in and grab it. I'm like, no, you don't need to do that. Like you can't wait an hour till you get home and get some like afterwards. So just like, it's so funny what our minds do. And especially when it's in an, around an addictive substance, like that's the addiction, like trying anything it can do. I was like, you're going to be fine. So again, it was like, what are the lessons in this? A, practicing, like releasing the attachment to the coffee, pra going for the run. Or I was like, maybe, you know, I ordered them again on Instacart from a different store. Um, and I was like, maybe, you know, this person needed to deliver these, co like for, it's giving them a job. Like for some reason, maybe it's for them. Or like maybe it's for me to not have coffee this morning because it's going to give me some awareness later on. Like there's just so many things that in my own mind, I can't conceive of like the bigger picture of it all, of like how this is like so perfect, whether it's the lesson, whether it's let now this new driver has um, a job to do. And maybe that was like a perfect timing for them. They were looking for that job or like, how is it a gift for somebody else? So just like it helps me. That's what helps me to release when something I have a preference or expectation that can throw me into a loop. It's like, okay, where's the good in this? How is this like the best thing that could have happened? The highest good for all. And just like coming back to that, that's a practice. But um, I share this with you because like, I can get so petty into my head. Like there's so much more going on in the world. And it's like, I'm uh, upset about that. I didn't get my mushroom coffee yet. Like perfect mushroom coffee. But it's just, and not, and not even, you know, and loving that part of me, loving that, like there's some like there's a little toddler inside who she just wanted her mushroom coffee. It's like okay, come here. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. Uh, versus like shunning that part because it's you know there is there was truth in that. I did want that. I did have that expectation and there was disappointment. And so to honor that, love it and reconnect to okay, what is real? This day is gonna be the best day ever. You got people coming up for Wim Hof. Like you're gonna show up. It's gonna be perfect. Um, so I shared this just to to. 
no to help remind like to notice like we all get caught in stuff and so it's like noticing when you're caught laughing releasing like loving our humanness that does that and just coming back we do that with the breath we can do that with um, practices like when we're really caught sometimes it's hard the mind just keeps clinging I can't totally cause this like the pain body the pain body just wants to feed on that negative energy and I want to read you something this is what I read at Wim Hof this morning it's from the book letting go my friend Jesse shared it with our mastermind group our mastermind group is the don't play small mastermind group so think you know the initial intention of that is like play big like let's go let's go after our dreams let's let's walk like really move through our fears that's the don't play small, but this beautiful definition of what playing small is, is it was so eye-opening and I just love it so much. Okay. The part of us that wants to cling to negative emotions is our smallness. It is the part of us that is mean, petty, selfish, competitive, cheap, conniving, mistrusting, vindictive, judgmental, diminished, weak, guilty, ashamed, and vain. It has little energy. It is depleting demeaning and it leads to the lowering of self-respect it is the small part of us that accounts for our own self-hatred unending guilt and seeking for punishment sickness and disease it is that that part with which we want or is that the part with which we want to identify is that the part we want to energize is that the way we want to see ourselves because if that's the way we see ourselves that's the way others will see us the world can only see us as we see ourselves. And I love this so much because it's just the ability, I mean, just the awareness to start watching when your mind clings to a negative emotion. And we fall into jealousy or feeling like judgmental of someone else or judging ourselves, not trusting somebody, like just it, that is our smallness. And so to be able to recognize it, see it, own it, and release come back to higher self of love the feeling of safety feeling worthy and it is a practice it is a practice because it's so easy to get pulled out so I'm, especially in times when you're not like you're withdrawing from caffeine or you know for me like pmsing like it it does my pain body's a lot stronger during pms i'm easily more easily agitated but that's not an excuse it means okay this period of time i need to be more aware and be more compassionate with, my, my, yeah, with myself if I end up, you know, triggered and reacting. Like, okay, I see it for what it is. I can come back. And, to, and that we're all learning and it's ebb and flow. Sometimes our, our ability to see our smallness is a lot easier. And sometimes it's hard. We can just be so in it. So under the water and just like feel like we're drowning. And then hopefully we're surrounded by people who can pull us back up. And then we can do that for other people helping to hold space, hold love, and reminding each other of our light and that there's abundance for all, that we are worthy, that there is no scarcity, there's, a, there's enough for everybody, that they, and that how loved you are. So I hope this is helpful or just gives you some insight and, and this is the, you know, a helpful encouragement to practice meditation because meditation is what helps us to be able to see what's going on inside. You know, it's not about stilling the mind, it's about being able to witness and be with what is happening. Oh, look at my mind, look at myself freaking out into anger. Look at, oh wow, look at this like energy that's moving through me that feels like so overwhelmed and I'm panicking. Like, but to be able to be the observer of it versus just so deep in it or we're lost. I hope that makes sense. So meditation is just this practice of witnessing and it's like the best thing ever for impulse control because there may be moments when you just want to avoid feeling that or sitting still. And it's just like, oh, there's that part of me that wants to jump up and move and go grab my phone. Ooh, I'm just gonna watch it and sit here and let that energy move. Hmm. And my boyfriend always says this, Anicca, Anicca, everything is changing. So just be with what's here. Oh, everything's changing, Anicca. Okay. I love you guys so much. I would love to hear any feedback you have or your take on this passage around smallness. Maybe a, a time where you've gotten caught. Connect with me on Instagram at Mindful Belly or subscribe to the channel. I have an intention to make a lot more YouTube videos, so putting that out there. 
And yeah, connect with me on Instagram. If you struggle with binge eating or sugar addiction, I have a podcast called Don't Eat Your Feelings with Mindful Belly. And if you ever are in search of community, come out to Austin ATX Wim Hof Group. It is the best. And I also lead comfort zone retreats. So lots of things going on. We have a new schedule coming out for 2023. Stay tuned if you are looking for a complete reset and transformation. These retreats are absolutely that. So love you. Bye.